Right, and let's go have a crack at trying to find the eigenvector for the 313 matrix that we previously worked out the eigenvalues for. So here are the eigenvalues. So we'll do it from lambda equals 1. And so again, it's just trying to solve the equation that says that A, which in this case is a 3 by 3 matrix, and we're going to multiply it by a vector, and because it's a 3 by 3 matrix, we want to multiply it by a 3 element vector. And it's going to equal, in this case, one lot of the same vector. Okay, and the best way to do it is to expand the brackets out, so first row into the column, because it's 2x1 plus 3x2 minus 2x3 equals x1. Second row gives us x2, sorry, x1, plus 4x2 minus 2x3 equals x2, and then we get 2x1 plus 10x2 minus 5x3 equals x3. And you can proceed any way you like from here, but often it's a good idea just to make them all equal to 0. So just stick that x1 over that side. So you get x1 plus 3x2 minus 2x3 equals 0 the x2 over that side, so you get x1 plus 3x2 minus 2x3 equals 0, and put the x3 over that side, so you get 2x1 plus 10x2 minus 6x3 equals 0. The reason for making them all equal to 0 is that now they're similar, and you can actually see what's going on. It's obvious that these top two are the same, so they're carrying exactly the same information, so one of them is redundant, so we could ignore that one, and now we can try and sort out what's going on down here. So <coughs> you can do it again any way you like, but I'd suggest if we multiply this one by 3, then we'll make the x3s match, and we can eliminate them and turn it just into an equation with x1s and x2s, but you can do it any way you like. So I'm going to multiply this equation by 3, which will give me 3x1 plus 9x2 minus 6x3 equals 0, and the bottom line is still the same. Yep, and if I subtract these things, I get 3 minus 2 is 1, 9 take away is negative 1, nothing. Okay, so by implication, x1 has to equal x2, and if x1 and x2 are equal, and we stuck them back into any of the equations, say we stuck them back into this equation, we'd have 12 lots of this lot minus 6 lots of x3 equals 0. So x3 has to be twice as big as either x1 or x2. And x3 equals 2 lots of x1. So my eigenvector is equal to the primary one would be 1, 1, 2, or anything of the form tt, 2t. So any any vector at all, which the first two elements are the same and the second one is double that element, will be an eigenvector that works when the eigenvalue is equal to 1. Okay. And for the negative 1, I haven't got space to do it here, so I'll just write the answer in the corner here, and you can check it for yourself. So if lambda equals negative 1, then the appropriate eigenvector is any vector of the form tt, 3t. So the first two elements have to be the same, and the third element has to be three times the, the top two. Okay, so that's how you work out the eigenvectors that are associated with the eigenvalue that you can work out for a particular matrix.